Good evening. New court documents are revealing further details in the death of 13 year old Patricia Altore. Altore was allegedly murdered and raped by a 24 year old man from Los Angeles. 23 ABC's Leslie Gooden is joining us live from the courthouse downtown and has more details on what the documents show. Leslie. Yes, it's been nearly a week since 13 year old Patricia Alatora has been laid to rest, but the investigation to her untimely death continues. Today, a 55 page court document has been released, giving further into the investigation and also which led to her discovery. According to newly released court documents, 24 year old Armando Cruz gave police a detailed account leading to the death of 13 year old Patricia Alatora earlier this month. Documents show on July 1st, Alatora snuck out of her home after telling her siblings she was going to bed. When her mother went to wake her up the next morning, documents say she found clothing and pillows under the sheets to make it appear as if Alatora was still in the bed. Soon thereafter, family began tracking her phone and it pinged to Panama Lane and Highway 99, but it continued to go to voicemail. A neighbor's ring camera also captured Alatora leaving the home just before midnight, and it showed a white Ford pickup truck in the neighborhood. Documents show investigators were able to obtain a Facebook IP address associated with the one Alatora was using with Cruz on Instagram and connected it to Cruz's cell phone account. And that's how they were able to track the pickup registered to Cruz and detained him for questioning. During interviews with police, Cruz admitted to communicating with Alatora through Instagram and exchanging private photos. He also admitted to meeting Alatora on two different occasions. During the second visit, Cruz said Alatora got into his truck, but said she did not want to go with him. He later admitted in detail how he killed the teen and what he did with her body, saying that he intended to kill her. Afterwards, Cruz says he tossed her phone near a median on a highway and drove back home to Inglewood and slept in his truck that night. Cruz further explained his connection to the 13 year old, adding that he and Alatora exchanged explicit messages on Instagram. And at one point, Cruz told Alatora if she didn't respond to him, he would leak those photos. Cruz since has been brought back to Bakersfield and has pleaded not guilty after being charged 12 felony counts, and he's scheduled back in court on September 12th. For now, Bakersfield, Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you.